That, sir, is kind of creepy. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back for another mod review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the placeable horse stable with boxes version 1.0. The file size for this mod is 21 megabytes. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I'll set a few things up and we'll test this on out. So let's get started. This is the placeable horse stable with boxes version 1.0. File size for this is 21 megabytes. Price in the shop to purchase this is $95,000 with a $95 a day maintenance fee. This has a capacity of 16 horses. You're going to input water, oats, and straw, and they're going to output manure. Yay! <laughs> okay, a couple of uh, highlighted features about this placeable. It has full lighting at night. It has actually four switches. on the. If you look very closely by the doors, you can see those little white square things. They're all light switches. A couple on the other side as well. There's two storage bays right in the front there. They're on the right-hand side. You can put your equipment inside. There's animated doors on this placeable, as well as a saddle bay that holds all your saddles so very very cool placeable let's go over to the shop right quick take a look at this it's over in your placeable section in the animal pens all the way over to the end there it is ninety five thousand put in those three resources ninety five dollars a day hold sixteen horses so another thing i should mention is it's hard to get an animal transport in there so i have this is the only one that's going to really fit in there and it only holds two I have a moderate one here that holds nine horses, but I can't even get that inside. So the doorway is a little small. So when you go to drop off your grain and your straw and stuff, you're going to have to have a, you know, a smaller size tipper. So the good thing is you can buy your horses from inside where you drop off your horses. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, let's take a little look around at this. Go ahead and turn on all the lights. Let me get my HUD up here. So yes, you can, and they'll uh, actually turn, click your left mouse button, you can see it opens up there. You can open these up with the left mouse button, or maybe not these doors. Hold on a second, let me get all these lights on first. Because some of them are kind of, if you open the doors first, you're not going to be able to get to it. Turn them all on. I'll show you what this looks like at night too. It's really, really nice. Here's inside these little bays. Look at the beautiful texture of the wood. Very, very nice. Good size little compartments there. Okay, we're inside now. Okay, there's still a couple of lights I gotta turn on. So yeah, that's where you're gonna drop your horses off. But you can also come inside here and toggle your open animal menu with the R key. Sometimes it's a little picky, but you'll get it. There we go. So yeah, there is all your horses there. You can buy them right from here. So that's kind of good. Here is all your triggers. You're going to drop off your straw, water, and your oats. Got these little stables here. You can't close these doors, unfortunately, but that's okay. Let's open up the ones on the other side. We'll hit the light switch here on the corner. I do believe that's it for light switches. That's where the manure is going to uh, appear. There's one of your saddles there. You have two gated in areas in the back. Very nice. Okay, everything's well lit. Look how beautifully lit this is. There's our water trough there. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy all our horses. 16. So, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's it. Sixteen. Confirm. Okay, let's go take a look at our horses here. Very nice. That's cool. Everything's all animated. They're walking in and out. Look at the bunch of horses we have out here. All kinds. Okay, I'm going to activate my flying mod again so I can give you a look at that. It's so bright that it actually looks like it's getting dark, but it's only like 12 minutes after 1 in the afternoon on that clock. So that looks really nice, all lit up. Okay, so we got a few things over here ready to go. Get this all filled up. 
First up, we have some oats. So even this, if you go to tip that up or side tip it, it's going to hit the roof. So we'll we'll use that little green door on the back if we can. Green door, there we go. And we'll start filling this up. See, that just barely fits in there. There we go. It's much better than the first time around. Oh no, it still tips. Oh no. She's going to start twitching here in a second, folks. No, let's stop them. We'll try a side tip. It's still going to hit. It might not be as bad from this side. There we go. We got her in there. Okay, let's grab the next thing. Actually, that that is the smallest loading wagon and that won't fit inside. Got a little bit of water here. This will fit in. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like this placeable. I do believe you have to go near the end for this one to activate. Yeah. Okay, your water's going in. See how it almost looks dark out? Because it's so light in here. By the way, yeah, there's little pictures in here I forgot to show you. There's... And it shows a board here. I'd imagine that's in German, but I don't know if that's like hours of operation. I can't see this thing closing down because you own it. But uh, let's take a little look at that before I forget. Yeah, there's little pictures here. It's trying to give the effect that the lights are glaring off it, but yeah, it's kind of cool. One over here. Just a little water trough there. Okay, I went ahead and switched up my tippers. Now I have my straw in this. Still going to be a little tight getting it in there, but it will go in. That's max capacity or just coming back. Let me get it back down there first. I'll try it again. No, nope, that's maximum. So that works just great. So they have everything they need. Alright. So you can see it's all lit up there. It's super bright inside. Look at that. All the saddles there, that's so cool. Everything's well lit. You can definitely see that from far away. All the horses asleep there, that looks so neat. I like that. Huh. That is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and jump ahead. Now, if I have any criticism, I'll look at them all get up at the same time, that was cool. Well, let's get rid of the rain. There's just two small things I would mention to the modder to fix perhaps in the new update. And it's only two small things because I think this is a fantastic mod. It would just be to make those doors maybe a little bit taller because some of the smaller tippers are even having a hard time getting in there. So maybe you could fix that. And one other small thing I have to mention. I tried laying this down a couple of times and it actually leaves this little strip of grass behind no matter where you put that it kind of does that so you can see it cutting into the field there and actually it's right on the tracks 
so maybe you could fix those little errors there but besides that fantastic mod and I would definitely add this one to my farm so that was the place of a horse stable with boxes version 1.0 file size for that was 21 megabytes additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys I really hope you enjoyed today's review if you did maybe you can leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel it really helps out so until next time take care and I will see you all in the next one